Bystanders, your favorite dark comedy podcast, is back with an all-new story and all-new characters. Starring Kathleen Turner. He's going to pick me to die. Margaret Cho. You're punishing us, aren't you? Beth Dover. Whatever you want, I don't have it. Joe Lotrulio. You killed someone? John Grice. Help me! Luke Cook. We took a blood oath, remember? Ignacio Diaz Silverio. Definitely hella sus. He's the only one not here. Darren Chris. I can't move my body. And Wayne Knight. I'm here to save you. Narrated by yours truly, Jane Lynch. There's something that makes me happy about hearing Jane Lynch's voice. I don't know why, but that is just some of the star power you can expect from the second season of The Bystanders. You may have noticed there's a few Glee alum in there, and that is because the Dark Comedy Podcast is executive produced, directed, and written by Glee's very own Heather Morris. And the only thing that makes me feel better than hearing Jane Lynch's voice is seeing you, Heather, joining us live to talk oh all about season two. Good. Thank you so much. Well, I just got a haircut, so I mean, I feel cute. really fabulous. <laughs> Thank you so much. Um, how good is that trailer? The trailer is amazing. It is amazing. And so, Heather, just so you know, you know, I'm Holly Morris. You're Heather Morris. I mean, I know we're not related, but in my mind, we might be in some way, shape, or form. Um, no, but... we just should get together in a field and be like, I'm Allie, I'm Hayley, I'm Heather. <laughs> exactly. You know what? But you, I, I'm not just saying this. You are my favorite on Glee because you are the most incredible dancer I've ever seen in my entire life and I was surprised to see you entering this whole I mean obviously that's just one of many talents that you have because this podcast is blowing up and now it's season two is this something that you just always wanted to do I mean it just it just happened as many things do I mean I'm an artist I love to create I love to just watch others perform and just make their magic. So it just kind of happened about um, my executive producer partners, Ashlyn Dean and Jacqueline Hales, actually made this as a film. And when podcasts um, had kind of turned scripted, I pitched it to them. I was like, hey, this amazing concept of the bystanders film, do you think we could throw this into an audio drama format? Um, and they were super on board. So I am so grateful that when we started season one, it was in the pandemic and season two, it just, people loved it. I mean, it's like the white Lotus of podcasts. Right. Every season's a story. Um, and we have such fun, quirky, weird characters and actors who are willing to play these characters. So that just adds to the fun of it. For the people that don't understand or aren't familiar with um, the bystanders, it's a real psychological a fact, right? A fact, yeah. So it's been studied for since the 60s after um, the Kitty Genovese story. And uh, it's when um, individuals are present, present during an emergency, the less likely they are to help. And it's so fascinating how we've seen snippets of it in, um, in the arts medium and in tel television, but there's never been a show dedicated strictly to the bystander effect and how it's a real thing, how people can feel shamed if they didn't help or if they do help, how they can be reprimanded. So we've kind of dove into all those all those um, stereotypes of what it's like to be a bystander. And so each one of the people plays a bystander, right, in, in whatever the new season is, and then there's something dark and quirky that perhaps happens to each one of them. Um, okay, so yeah. clearly we couldn't uh, not, not notice that there's some Glee people, Glee alums in your yeah. cast, so clearly you're still connected with, the, with that whole world. Uh, absolutely. I mean, Jane Lynch, like, she's my biggest cheerleader ever since we started Glee. Like, when we would walk the red carpet, she would get my name in there every time we were, like, side by side. And she'd be like, oh, well, Heather Morris over there. Um, and I, I don't know if it was her deflecting herself onto somebody else, but she just has always been my champion, and I'm so grateful for that. So having Jane Lynch's voice is, like, velvet in this podcast, and everybody who listens is obsessed. And then Darren Chris, obviously... Um, he's always game to do yeah. weird things. I mean, he would sing the Aladdin soundtrack on Glee all the time, and him and I would, like, sit there and goof around together because we're Aquarians and we're weird. So he just wanted to play and have fun and just enjoy himself um, hey, sitting in a booth. before we go, 
Before we go, I just want to get this in because I know that you were, you know, one of your big um, things that catapulted you to fame was being a backup dancer for Beyonce on one of her tours. Is there a little bit of you that's kind of feels like you're missing out on this Renaissance World Tour, wishing you were up there? So bad. This is my chance. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm sitting back and I'm watching all of my fellow dancers enjoying themselves. And I do wish I was going. But I am in the middle of learning um, the heated lyrics right now on TikTok. So if you follow me, <laughs> Heather Morris TV, you can follow my journey as to learning the lyrics to the Beyonce songs. <laughs> Heather, you are such a joy. You just keep on creating and being the amazing artist that you are. Really appreciate your time. Thank you. All Thank right. you so much. And the Bystander Season 2. Get it wherever podcasts are available to be gotten.